Hey everyone, I'm Teach Pine, and welcome back to Space Run. And yes, the beard is gone, but it will grow again, no worries. Uh, so, let's go to the next uh, delivery, Stony Ride for Big Cargo. So, let's do that, shall we? So, we got some upgraded modules. Um, so, what do we have here? Uh, what's that? A mechanic? Well, this is a space thruster. What is this? Builds a new container. Oh, this produces more containers. Okay, okay. So we get more loot. I wonder where we have to, where they will get placed, though. On a free space on the ship. Uh, okay. Sounds like it could get me in trouble, to be frank. Let's not plan too much ahead, shall we? Let's just place down some cargo. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> so symmetric and start. And if it's not working, we can still adjust it, I guess. I will not try to five star everything, though. I think that doesn't sound too reasonable. So, uh, big asteroids ahead. That's maybe a problem. So let's set down. Uh, a missile launcher and a normal cannon in this general direction I would suppose actually that was probably a bad placement because I cannot set a generator in range for that cannon now so it will be hard to get their second ability of that thing going ah uh, maybe hmm. probably a bad choice that's a lot of asteroids actually I'm a little worried. Okay, fighters from from the front. Okay, uh, I fear the cannon is not doing too much here. Actually, hmm. well, I don't think we're getting hit here, but. See if we can get another one. Probably not, though. And I kind of want to have a thruster soon, to be frank. Small pirate starfighter. Okay, so these were not the regular ones. Let's build a thruster so we don't fall behind on that. On the speed thingy. We still want a lot of stars, right? I feel that the missile launcher was not a good choice to put it there. Well, it cleared out the path. Probably this laser cannon was actually a mistake. Because the, the la missile launcher could have cleared out that path on its own. So, yeah. I'm still not fast enough. We need more. That's bad. That might become an issue. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Fighters from everywhere. But we have a little more time. Um, this might hit, actually. I'm not sure. No, apparently not. But this one. This looks dangerous. Nope. Build more thrusters. Uh, we still need more, so that's the thing. I think our laser cans are fine. Oh, we might lose this one. Oops, wrong button. Don't destroy it. There we go. Repair. And build another thruster because apparently we need them. Is this thing? Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to buy them. Okay, that's good though, but this means we can, like, spend, uh, the, the, uh, the, the hex nuts we don't need on containers later, so that's pretty good. 
how long do we need more stuff i don't know i don't i don't think we need like the power thing um the power generator we don't need another thruster i think we will get this we're way faster should be fine oh there are big ships coming from the front oh well, that's actually coming a lot we might need more weapons so let's build another missile launcher around here and let's build a shield around not sure here actually no that was stupid should have put a power generator there Actually, I probably should turn this around and let the missile do the work on the on the asteroids. Should be enough. So we get tons of gold, uh, tons of money of those things. Is there a cooldown on that ability? Oh yeah, a big one actually. Let's use it then. There's the first one down. Oh, we we got we got hit there. We lost a the thruster, didn't we? Maybe not. Not certainly. Not one hundred percent sure what's that. No, that's yeah. We lost the thruster. Did we? No, we didn't. We did. I'm not sure. We might. We're getting faster for some reason. Should build more stuff. Let's put the thruster down there just to be sure. Okay, it's getting hectic. Oh, we got hit again. But we're quick enough anyway. Ouch. Yeah, it seems to destroy the tiles, but it doesn't really matter at that point. I guess we could have produced more cargo, but we got through it quick enough anyway. But this was a little bit trickier. I guess we could have produced more cargo, at least one more, maybe two. But we got five stars, so that's the most important thing. How much more could we have? Could we have gotten? Well, two hundred fifty. We could have gotten seven hundred fifty more. It would be quite a big deal, actually. But yeah. It's Sir, okay. it seems your success has made you a bit of a star. You have an incoming call from B. Brandon Richards. This ought to be interesting. Fuck. Fuck man, your reputation precedes you. You are one cool space runner. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so what do I owe this honor? It is quite the honor to speak with me. Usually my time is booked months in advance, but I have a proposition for you. My newest mega successful company, VIP Travel, could use a man like you. Uh, okay. Everyone wants me. Very people. Very rich people. People who like to travel in style to the very deep reaches of space. Due to your newfound fame, we want you to be a space runner for us. I'm listening. It's a pretty sweet gig. We give you a few passengers, complete with their own rooms. All you've got to do is get them from here to there, alive. You know, I'm not a cruise director. <laughs> not only do you get to rub elbows with the rich and famous, but we pay mega tip-top dollar. Well, when you think about it, I guess all space runners are kind of cruise directors excellent you can load your passengers at your own convenience as long as you do it now richards out perhaps i should call you captain stubing from now on shut it adam okay so it seems like we just unlocked personal car uh, personal travel um interesting these guys have another mission with more fuel or uh, more nuclear stuff Put them on the edges of your ship to offer your clients a nice view in space. You also have to provide them power or the construction will suffer damage over time. <laughs> okay, this is harder to 
to like get them to the goal as you want them to. Uh, it's not here yet. Too bad. We could check out those. Well, they deal way more damage and have way more health, but they're still small, so you still cannot shoot them with missiles. Okay. So we have a tons of money. We sh should upgrade some stuff, I suppose. Where is the power generator? What was the upgrade here? Uh, power up each of the constructs with two power. No, that's not useful. Uh, I want the shield thingy actually. I think upgrades shield protection so it uh, covers two hex cells around it. That makes a lot of sense. Let's get this. Let's get this instantly. Reduces damage absorbed by the shield by fifty percent. Okay, that makes the shield more more endurable, I guess. Not bad, but we might have better uses. We don't have the money for a twin plasma, so that's bad. Uh, we cannot get a rocket battery yet because we don't have enough um, reputation. Hmm. So we have to we have to stick with what we have right now: missile launcher and the laser, laser cannon. I didn't use those skills at all. I st I think I'm underusing my skills in general. It's probably an issue. But it's so much going on, it's kind of hard to use all the skills at the same time. Not sure if this iron cannon is really worth it. Probably later if they have shields, but right now, I don't know. Doesn't seem too useful. I mean, it disables cannons, that's not terrible, I guess. But. So, what, what do we have? A tactical break? We could unlock this or this. This would be. We cannot unlock all of this, though. Quite expensive. This is not useful. What is this? Oh, okay. Multiplies construct constructions hit points by three. Um, yeah, okay. Whatever. Not too useful. Huh. Oh, we should get this. Yeah, this is good. Oh, there we go. A passive. A passive for more damage. That sounds very useful. Let's get that. Does this need... Oh, it only works if there's power. But that makes sense. Okay, so we put laser cannons with power generators next to it, and they deal more damage. And they can activate the rapid fire, which will wrap, uh, shred things to pieces. I hope at least. Um, 1000 more. We could get this one. It's not terrible. But it needs power as well. What would what, what is the alternative? We could save the money for something else. Or we could get tactical break. I don't think this is really. Well, it's quite useful in the beginning, I suppose. But 15 seconds without thrust power? This sounds like pretty. That sounds like a lot, not sure. Uh, we could get overload, which makes no sense. So let's get the upgrade for the missile launcher. And just build more power generators next time. <laughs> Shall we? So we could do Galactic Armada, but I suppose we do Planet Express. Rip Travel is a company for people who have more credits than they know what to do with. VIP travel or VIP travel lets these people experience the joy of deep space travel. Eccentric mega billionaire Brandon, Brandon Richards. <laughs> Brandon Richards. Oh yes, uh, runs the company. He is a friendly guy who doesn't seem to care about the dangers of space. Well, he seems to be a nice guy and a cool dude. So uh, let's wrap up the the episode here though, and let's do this mission um, in the next episode. So. Thanks all for watching, have fun and see you next time.